Your full forecast with fish is just minutes away. Also coming up, Bruce City welcomes a new kid to the block. Stay with us as we talk to the newest microbrewery to open its doors in Milwaukee. Oh, yeah. Well, it should be nice, but still nice to check out. Yep. Okay, exactly. thank you, Fish. Brew City has gotten another microbrewery, best known for its flagship lager, Bison Blonde. The Buffalo Water Beer Company is in the third ward. Where else but at Buffalo and Water? And Craig Peterson is here to tell us more. Thanks for joining well, us. Thank you, Craig. Melissa. Tell us a little bit about it, um, and, and what's your inspiration well, behind it? The, the, the inspiration comes from a number of sources. You know, Newton had the apple. Uh, Franklin had the kite. Um, Clapton and Harrison both had Patty. Uh -huh. We have an intersection, the intersection of Buffalo and Water. And the, the desire to create a high-quality craft beer that goes wonderful with buffalo wings and spicy foods. Oh, you can't beat that. We're looking at some video that we have. And I know that your flagship is the Bison Blonde. For people unfamiliar with it, what type of beer is it? It's a very easy-drinking crossover beer. It's not too hoppy, not, which means um, that it's not very bitter. It has a very nice aroma. When you, when you, when you smell it for the first time, you, mm -hmm. you, smell your, you know you're drinking a serious beer. It has a, a very nice mouth to it, not very fruity, um, a very serious, um, full flavor to it. Uh -huh. It has a wonderful finish. It has a dry finish that's not a floral finish, but the finish that it, it's very nice that it soothes the taste buds after you've had spicy foods. Okay, and Buffalo Water, obviously you brew this, but are there other beers that you're looking to brew or in the process of doing? Well, we're looking at other profiles of beers. We're looking at a Nutty Ale, we're looking at an American mm -hmm. Wheat Bill uh, beer. We brew our beers at uh, Milwaukee Brewing, Brewing Company down on 2nd Street, so we identify very high-quality uh, brewers to, to, to make our product for us. And then we're looking at a couple of new markets, too. We're looking at the state of New York. New York. I mean, for us, the holy grail is really is Buffalo, New York. And then after that, we'd like to look at Colorado, because you have yeah. the Denver Bisons, of course. Yeah. So there's a lot of opportunities there, and the quality of the beer is wonderful. Um, on, on some of the beer rating websites, this is rated as the best pale lager in the world which is quite an honor when you look at the quality of the beer in, in just in Milwaukee. I mean, I stand on the shoulders of some, some great microbrewers, or Russ Klisch with Lakefront, Randy Sprecher, mm -hmm. Jim McCabe. I mean, Milwaukee just has a, a wonderful source of craft brewers. That's a huge honor, not yes. just a big honor. Now, if people want to buy some of the Bison Blonde, how can they get it? Well, you can get it statewide through Woodman's, and you can get it in the metro area through some Sendic stores. If you go on our website, buffalowater.com, you'll find the on-premise locations, and you should look often because that's updated almost every day. All right, and real quickly, too, hold up the T-shirt for us. Oh. You also sell shirts. We have... So uh, in case they're beer, fun ones. Beer so gear is a, is a big part of the brewing industry, so this is Buffalo Water Bison Blonde. So I'm assuming you can get that on your website as well. This blonde goes down easy. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go, Bison Blonde. You can't beat it. So thank you so much for joining thank us, Thank you Craig. very much. And if you would like more information about the Buffalo Water Beer Company, check out our website, todaystmj4.com, and click on links, and we'll be right back.